guys welcome back to my channel um so I just thought it'd be fun to do another little get ready with me I know I just did one of these but I have a few videos that I've been wanting to film today so I thought I would just kind of throw on the camera and film you can see I am back in my room my son is officially in his own room in his crib so I have my space back to me for filming which is so so nice Excuse me. Um, one of the videos I want to film today is kind of a vanity declutter slash organize. So I'm excited to get back into this space. So, anyways, let's go ahead and get started. I just moisturize. I'm going to go ahead and uh, get started. going to do my Hourglass Veil Primer. I like getting ready with me, especially like when I was working, I loved long videos that I could just watch while I was getting ready. I don't know about you guys, but I enjoyed them. I enjoyed hearing updates on, you know, YouTubers I like to follow and I'm total creeper about. So. I kind of, do you guys go between just doing a tutorial because you want to listen to other stuff on YouTube or doing like a get ready with me because you want to like do a different video <laughs> but I feel like I'm not doing anything interesting enough to like do a separate video or like a tutorial on you know I mean you yeah whatever anyways primer potion debating between I really want to just do a bold lip and simple eyes but then I'm also like it's been like a week since I've touched my Natasha Denona palette, so do I do something with that? It's life issues, guys. Life issues. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go in with MAC Pro Longwear and cover up my eyelids a bit. And I am very aware how yellow this is on me. I'm very neutral toned. Stuff can either look really, really easily look very pink on me or very yellow. Um, my goal is just using this concealer up. I really like the Pro Longwear concealers, but going in with my RCMA No Color Powder. Going in with the Jaclyn Hill palette. One thing about the Natasha Denona palette, oh, you guys think? <laughs> totally did that. Yeah. Uh, one thing about the Natasha Denona palette is there's not really great crease colors. They're all pretty dark, so at least to get a base shade. I'm going to go in here. Cream. I feel like, um, so I'm going with Kathleen Light's Blaze Super Chalk Shadow. Um, I don't know. I feel like summer might not, like, I've always thought, oh, summer, of course, my favorite season. But I really feel like, more so now, it's like fall and, and then spring. Um, summer, I like, I really enjoy it, but especially as a mom with young, young, you know, like my son Forrest, he's five months and my daughter's, my daughter's three, which is a fun age for summer, but you know, my, my son is so young. It's like, it's, he's taking naps constantly. So it's hard to really get out and do stuff for summer. So, I mean, we do. But during the week, not not a whole lot. I mean, my daughter and I will go outside, but he, he also only naps for about an hour at a time to an hour and a half, maybe, on good days, but which is normal at this age. But my point being, like, it's hard. It's hard to get out and do stuff when they're this young. And I, I don't care enough to, I guess, if that makes sense, uh, to, like, force it. I'd rather he get good naps in and get a good schedule than, like, f force us to get outside and do stuff. Because we still do, like, we go for walks and do other stuff. I just, I feel like once well, your mom, summer's not nearly as exciting. <laughs> At least a young, a mom of really young kids. So, I don't know. Anyways, so all that to say, I feel like I look more forward to fall. Like, my daughter, like, my daughter really wants to make apple pie this fall with apples. So she and I have been talking about doing that together. Okay, I'm going in with... A Bade from the Natasha Denona palette, just on my finger. Lip 
ingen igneous ingenious igneous and just kind of going into the crease just trying to make it like a rounded smoky look going on today going in with soul now to kind of blend that out I'm gonna go ahead and do my face now. I kind of think that's leaving it where it's at for my eyes. I also kind of feel like this is similar to the Jaclyn Hill one I just did, <clears throat> tutorial I just did. But I don't know. I've been kind of liking the cool tone bronzing look for summer. So I'm aligning my tight lining up here. Going in with my two Makeup Forever foundations to go ahead and mix those. Another company where I don't really like, I'm just trying to use these up because again, they're very cool tone and very warm tone. They're not very good neutral. So I just try and mix the two and then use them up. I don't like having to mix so much. I can't believe it. It's amazing how fast it goes. I know whenever you have a baby, that's what everybody's going to tell you. Oh, it goes by so fast. They're not lying. They're warning you. Like, seriously, they are warning you. And it's so fun telling my daughter this because she was asking me if I liked baby Emmy. Or, you know, wanted baby Emmy instead of big Emmy. I said, you know, mommy loves to watch you grow and see you learn. Um... But mommy also did love baby, baby, baby Emmy. So, you know, and that's kind of how it is. It's so fun seeing them change and learn and grow. But it's also, like, very, very bittersweet. Like, you know, my husband the other day was like, oh, she's already, like, a quarter of the way to whatever, to 12 or 18, whatever he was saying. But it was just very, like, it's very sad. Oh, so I just went in with my Mesh Pro Longwear, and now I'm going to go in with Maybelline Fit Me in number 15, Fair. Just kind of give it a little bit of a pinky undertone with the yellow, because this is so yellow. Anyway, so our summer has been pretty good. Now is more so the time when we're going to be busy with summer stuff. Um, my sister-in-law and her husband just got into town from... Belgium and so we're hanging out with them. We live near a river So we're gonna go do like go hang out at the river Tomorrow Saturday, and then um, we leave to go out of town for a few days with his family um, And when we get back I have a few weddings that I'm doing um, My husband's going fishing in Canada So in previous summers my husband was able to get off his job early just like their policy was like, you know, just just fill in your hours, doesn't matter. Like, if you want to get off at 2, that's fine. Just make sure you're not cutting your work or whatever. So, anyways, this new department has been, this new position has been so demanding, he hasn't been able to do that. Like, it's, he used to be able to kind of get off at, like, 2, be home by 3, we'd pack a dinner, and then go hang out at the river for a couple hours. But, we just, unfortunately, we haven't been able to do that at all been pretty, pretty relaxed. Um, it's been nice weather-wise. These last few years, we've had really hot weather, weather here. Really hot summers in Washington, which, okay, I've mentioned this before, but if you don't know Washington people, we are not extreme weather people. We live in Washington because 
we like moderate, moderate weather. Um, in these last few summers, like, Washington people will complain all winter long about the rain and how horrible it is and how cold it is. Um, and then as soon as it gets to above 75, everyone's complaining again about how hot it is and miserable and ready for the, <laughs> ready for the cold weather. Like that's, that's just how it is in Washington. Um, and, uh, so anyways, this summer has been really nice in that it's been actually pretty like not consistent, but yeah, I guess consistent. Um, like 75 to 85 max more close to 80 regularly, um, which is like perfect in our minds. So it's, it's like hot, you know, and comfortable, but like not dying. Like the last few summers we've had stretches of 90 degrees, which we are just not built for. Like we're, we're not built for that period. I born and raised Washington, not built for 90 degrees weather, 90 degree weather. Just, I'm okay with that. I'm accepted. I'm accepted. I'm, I've accepted that and I'm okay with it. I just am. I don't want to be in that hot of weather. Especially since we don't have pools here. Very rarely do people actually have AC either. That's something else to consider is most houses here don't have AC. Ours thankfully does. The guy who owned our house before us, he flips houses for, I'm guessing for a living or, you know, at least for extra money. And he lived down in Arizona. So when he saw our house, he, we're figuring, he thought, oh, there's no, um, you know, s central heating system or whatever it's called. I can't, I don't even know what it's called. Um, no wonder this house isn't selling, you know? And so he, when he redid it, he added in a air conditioning thing. Um, so we actually have air conditioning, but we don't like to use it very much. Now I want to go in with my chocolate soleil baranza. I've been really loving this, uh, Sephora Pro brush. It's from what I read on the reviews, it's a dupe for the Marc Jacobs bronzer brush. It's, I mean, not, it wasn't super cheap. I think it was still like 40 bucks or something like that. But the Marc Jacobs ones was, you know, all that much more, apparently. Actually, go in with Makeup Geek XOXO blush. This blush brush from Wayne Goss is amazing. It's amazing. A little, little much in the blush today. Got a little too, a little too excited there. I'm gonna go in over the over that uh, the tart. Uh, party, party, blush. This is just the free one you get at Sephora for your birthday. So I'm going to go back in with that igneous, igneous color, the dark brown. I guess I never showed it earlier. I'm going to go back to front with this. I'm gonna go in with the uh, soul color. Yeah, I just did a wedding the other last weekend. That's not what I wanted. Um, I just did a, a wedding last weekend. Bride, and, and she was a bride who doesn't really wear any makeup, and it's just so exciting to see someone who's super nervous on getting their makeup done because they're afraid you're going to like you know glam them out like you are and like instead you listen 
and you do what they want and they come back just like looking in the mirror just so excited because they love it. Like it's just such a, ah, whew, okay, I did it. And I'm going to go in with Silk Cream from the Jaclyn Hill palette now. Um, I'm really enjoying, like I've mentioned to you guys a couple times, my essential oils this summer. I started teaching essential oil classes. Um, let me know if you guys would ever enjoy me posting a class up here. I would love to. Um, I just, I don't, I don't want to if people wouldn't enjoy that, I guess. I don't want my content to become that if you guys don't like it, I guess. I, to me, essential oils, they're crucial. They're a lifestyle. They're a part of, a crucial part of a healthy lifestyle. And so for me, like, I love learning about them and realizing the importance of purity and, like, they're one area where price does matter, like, Rice does associate with quality and just how diverse they are and important they are in our lives. So, anyways, you guys, that has been one thing I've been loving learning this summer and really taking to heart and like trying. Okay, I'm gonna go in with Make It Be Mobster Liner. I need to throw this out, this thing is totally dry. I'm going to go on with this full exposure. So my bottom lashes, I, I've been like growing, you guys. I've been putting on a serum night and day of castor oil, lavender oil, and cedarwood oil. And to be honest, I'm like, okay, I don't know if I notice a difference. Oh, crap. I forgot to do my Max Fix, Max Fix Plus. And my highlight. I'm gonna go ahead and do my highlight now. I think I'm going to go ahead and do Lust Makeup Geeks Luster Highlight. Uh, over top of that, I am gonna go in with Becca's Prosecco Pop. corner highlights. So I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. Just use Prosecco Pop and Luster again. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and spray my face. And then I'm going to go in with, I'm going to finish up my lashes, so I'm going to go ahead and do my primer, lash primer, and the uh, Smashbox full exposure. Alright guys, I'm going to go in with, this is hours later, by the way. Um... Yeah, I'm going to go in with this color. This is Anastasia Blush Liquid Lipstick. I hate this formula, to be completely honest. I love this color. This is one of the, this might be the only Anastasia Beverly Hills lip, liquid lipstick I've kept. But you can already see. It's probably would look better with a lip liner, but what can you do? So, anyways guys, that is just this getting ready with me. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!